the pent up demand and, and, and the fear, you know, of, of inflation and all the horrible things that are going on. Well, what happened? Well, IBM basically beat on the top and they beat on the bottom. I mean, constant currency revenue is up a mind boggling 16%. Wait a second. Are we talking about Salesforce here? Are we talking about IBM, right? EPS was up 43%, uh, pretty, pretty incredible. Uh, one uh, one financial metric that the street really looks at for IBM is $3.3 billion in free cash flow year to date. Interestingly enough, some people said that that wasn't enough, uh, which I think could have led to the decrease in, in the stock price. But listen, I'm not an equities, equities analyst. I'm a tech industry analyst. So let me stick to the content that I know really well. So uh, every uh, division... Uh, by the way, I'm really loving the new simplified model. What does IBM do? They have software, they have consulting, and they have infrastructure. That's it. Sure, they do a couple cuts uh, across the uh, cloud line, uh, but it's super, super simple. Software was up uh, 6%, 12% constant currency. Red Hat was only up 12%, which I got to tell you, man, I, I really want to see that number uh, uh, with a 2 uh, in, in, in front of it. But with that said, um, Tom and company had a great, uh, quarter over there, uh, consulting up 10%, almost 20% in constant currency. And it is amazing. The, the Delta between uh, constant currency now with, uh, how strong the dollar is heck it's, uh, it's better than one to one on the Euro. So, um, never seen it, never seen it. I know maybe it's time for a, a trip to a uh, trip to Europe could finally uh, afford something like that. But hey, the star of the show for the quarter uh, was infrastructure, up a eyeball popping 25% constant currency. Two weeks ago, Dan, I got a, I got a pitch from, a, from an agency that said the mainframe was dead. And I replied and I said, you really need to do your homework. The mainframe actually isn't dead. In fact, the Z16 brought an absolute 69% year-over-year increase. Now, was that a surprise? Probably not, because this thing comes in cycles. And a year from now, that number is going to be really low. But uh, it pops two or three quarters every few years. And, 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 and here we are. So, you know, overall, Daniel, a very impressive showing, uh, even under... I would say the tough reality of constant currency where basically, you know, if you're in Europe or you're in Asia, uh, the dollar um, uh, goods are going to be more expensive because you can't buy as much as you did before. So here we are. Hats off. Yeah. So you, you covered a lot of ground. Uh, one thing to add about Z, though, only one month of the new Z cycle actually went into that number. So there is even more. So that's 69 percent. Should be bigger next quarter. God, so could it possibly be triple digit, Daniel? It could be. There is a realistic chance it could be triple digit. And of course, that carried the day for the infrastructure number. Um, the Red Hat, I totally agree with you that the Red Hat opportunity is significant. And if there was probably one thing that I wanted to you know, dig into a little deeper is why that isn't growing faster. Because as IBM has been... Uh, aggressively expanding to not only its own cloud, but working with the likes of AWS, Red Hat is a facilitator of that growth. And Red Hat, by the way, does not require companies to do anything with the rest of IBM. So it's just an overall, if, if we look at the cloud market growth, and we're going to say that uh, IBM has a play in the whole public and hybrid cloud growth, Red Hat is such a massive opportunity. So to your point, seeing up in the 20s, Really looking to see it track alongside what the, the hyperscalers are growing would be a really, really impressive point. But it is something to work towards. Um, you know, the FX was really what drove a little bit of the sentiment the wrong way, Pat. I mean, essentially, the FX uh, is scaring people. Earlier in the week, Bill McDermott went on, talked about deals slowing across Europe as the dollar strengthened yeah. because companies are saying, well, we want to see the dollar weaken a little bit before we start deploying our money to new uh, projects because you're going to get less for our buck. And so to your point here, if we're going that way, we're going to get a lot more for our money. But as they money comes back, it is not as good. And so companies that have big global exposure, because it's not just the euro, it's right. the dollar strengthened all over the world. So you look at different markets, 
you know, and again, big tech companies all have big global exposure. The guidance, you know, basically stayed on pace. You know, a little bit of curiosity, kind of when, when he says something on the lines of still expecting high single digits with constant currency, are people doing the math in their head and saying, well, that's almost zero in <laughs> year over year. Right. And given, you know, that the growth in the last two quarters has been closer to 10% year over year without constant currency, are people doing the back math and saying, those, so the rest of the year may be sort of offset? Is that kind of what he was saying? And I, I wasn't able to fully um, garner and, and, and appreciate that, but something spooked the investors and it couldn't have been the results because the results, Pat, were really good. Yeah, you think it's unfair to want that 20% number? You know, I, I know VMware and Red Hat are different companies, but, you know, VMware, you know, they grew a whopping 3% last quarter, right? Yeah, well, and Pat, by the way, uh, VMware, you know, this was one of the reasons why when the deal got done with Broadcom and everyone's talking about what a travesty and tragedy it is, and I'm kind of yeah. looking at it like, uh, they're not growing that fast. They're not, it hasn't been that impressive. Um, they weren't, you know, it's been steady Eddie, you know, 10%, 10%. And now it's fallen to even a lower number. And frankly, you know, and I'm not knocking, and I know this Tanzu is not the topic, nor is VMware, Pat, but hybrid cloud here is kind of the topic. That's right. You know, a lot of the stuff I read on Tanzu, which, by the way, is why I think Red Hat should be growing even faster. <laughs> so, you That's know, it's a, this, is, yeah. this is opportunistic. This is That's an opportunistic fair. moment. 